Now, the African Cup of Nations gets going this weekend, and it will be Tanzania's third ever appearance in the continent's showpiece. That's after 1980 and 2019. Now, the Taifa Stars have been holding a training camp in Cairo, which concluded with a friendly against their hosts, Egypt, on Sunday. CGTN's Isaac Lucando takes a look at the team's chances in Cote d'Ivoire. Over 4,000 kilometers from home, Tanzania's national team, Taifa Stars, is ready for the Africa Cup of Nations. Coach Abdel Amruche is confident his charges could fare well in this year's competition and future ones too. It's a good occasion to, to get that uh, experience, to, to make it again for 25 and for 27. And uh, it's very, it's genuine for some players. It's, uh, it's good to start to, 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 to dream about uh, AFCON than uh, World Cup. Placed in Group F alongside more experienced teams such as Morocco, the DR Congo and Zambia, Taifa Stars appear to be the underdogs. It's true that we are faced with difficult matches, but for a long time we have desired this opportunity and we thank God that we have attained it. So we consider ourselves already in field of battle. Taifa Stars is making its third ever appearance at the Africa Cup of Nations since it debuted in 1980, its most recent one being in 2019. However, it has had a not-so-impressive record at the competition, with the team failing to get past the group stages. The winner of this year's Africa Cup of Nations is set to walk away with a record $7 million. If Tanzania's history in the competition is anything to go by, winning the prize money may be a long shot, but the national team has made it clear that its intention is to get noticed at Africa's premier football tournament. Despite some new additions to the squad, some football analysts are concerned the country's national team is still too dependent on older players. As a country, we ought to ask ourselves why we have depended on Buana Samata for such a long time. Because we haven't produced newer players capable of reaching Samata's level. Samata is on the edge of his career. We need a new Samata. Most Tanzanian football fans seem eager to support the national team despite its fruitless performances in the past. Fans are hoping that the team's third showing at the competition will be the charm needed to create the kind of success the football crazy nation craves. Isaac Lukando, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.